This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. There are two sets of supporting materials. One is the Maths Mesh Guide, a summary of research knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. The second is the Numeracy for All booklet, showing in detail how to make and use the resources mentioned here. OK, learning multiplication tables can be a bit of a bind, a bit of a bore, but if you can turn it into a game, then the children will not really realise what uh, what are they doing the same thing repetitively. So this is made from, again, a bit of a milk bag. It looks nice and glossy, and this is for the 8 times table. But obviously you can do it for uh, a mixed tables, or you can do it for separate tables. So you make the answers, you have the... Um, the questions written down and then you have the answers and it is a simple matching um, activity. So you can challenge the children, they can work individually or they can work in pairs against each other and see how quickly they can do it. So they matching up, so 10 times 8. Uh, one tip with this is to muddle the questions up so that they're not just in order. Um, so they can pick up, right, okay, I'm looking for 8 times 8. Okay, 16, I'm looking for two eights. 40, I'm looking for five eights. Four eights are 32. Three eights are 24. Seven eights are 56. Eight times zero is zero. Uh, nine eights are 72, which leaves me with six eights are 48. And then you can say, excellent, well done. Clean it all off. Right, do it again. Try and be faster. Okay, another way, endless ways that you can play this. I mean, you're still doing the same, it's the same skill, but if you approach it in a different way, the children will see it as a different game. Um, so you could challenge the children, all right? And you could say, right, I've turned them all upside down and I'm going to ask my partner, I want you to find the answer to 10 eighths. So first of all, they have to work out that 10 eighths are 80 um, and then they're going to turn over, that's a bit of luck, turn over the answer and then they put it on like this. If they get it right, they can have another go. So I'm going to say, okay, I want you to find eight eights this time. So we're going to think, right, okay, turn it over. Are eight eights 48? No. But you can ask them, okay, what are it? What does make 48? So 48 would be six eights, but it's but I've got it wrong. So you turn it back over and you want the children to try and remember, all right, where 48 is. It's up to you with the rules. You can say, right, okay, you're going to have three goes to find eight eights. So... Are eight eights fifty six? No. Seven eights are fifty six, so I'm close, but not quite close enough. So I'll try another one. Now I know that it's not that one. I know it's not that one. It's still a pretty long shot that I'm gonna find it, but I'm gonna try this one. No, eight eights are not zero. Zero times eight is not. So now we can ask the partner, okay, you take over and you have a go. Um, it may be that I say right, eight eights, find that, but I'm not, I'm gonna say two eights, try and find two eights. Now try and remember which ones have already been turned over. I've got three goes, I've got a pretty good chance. Two eights, ah, oh, I got it first go. So I've now gone 16. So now my partner can give me another one and they're gonna say, uh, try and find three eights. Okay, let's see, three eights. No, three eights are not 40, five eights are 40. I've got to try and remember the ones that I've already turned over. I'm gonna try this one. Three eights, no, three eights are not 72. Nine eights are 72. Ooh, I've got two or three possible choices. Three eights, eight, 16, 24. Yes, I'm right. And so on till the game's finished. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics, a guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. Okay, let's go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.